like to invite all the children of God to remain where you are for our children's message. When I was in first grade, I had a friend. Yes, I actually had a friend. And she was my best friend. Her name was Janie Lynn. And one of the things that I loved doing was to go to her house and play. And she would come to my house sometimes to play. And we would spend hours playing with our dolls. And sometimes the time would pass so quickly that I was amazed when her mom would knock on the door and say, it's time for lunch. Would you like to stay for lunch? Janie Lynn would say, well, mom, what are we having? And her mom would look at her and say, we're having soup. Not soup again, Janie Lynn said. (laughs) Then her mom would leave, and she'd say, you don't have to stay if you don't want to. And I said, no, soup is fine. Well, that became a regular thing. And every time I was at her house, it was always soup for lunch. And after a while, when her mom would come in and invite me in, we would even say together, not soup again. But then my parents decided that they wanted to move. And I wasn't going to be able to be in school with Janie Lynn anymore. So my mom allowed me to go over to her house to spend the night. I think my mom was afraid there was going to be a phone call in the middle of the night from six-year-old me that she needed to come pick me up. But I was so excited. Had my little bag packed at school. Actually got to ride the bus home with her. And that night... After we were through playing with our dolls, there was a knock on the door. And her mom said, are y'all ready for supper? And Janie Lynn said, what are we having? And her mom said, soup. I kind of lost touch with Janie Lynn. And years later, I was at an athletic event at the high school. And I ran into her brother, Mitch, her younger brother, one that always used to listen outside the door and make fun of us as we played with our dolls. And I said, how's Janie Lynn doing? How's your family? And he said, we're doing okay. And I said, you know, Mitch, the one thing I remember about your family is y'all sure did love soup. And he said, what do you mean? I said, it didn't matter if I was there at lunchtime or that one time I spent the night, y'all always had soup. Imagine my surprise when he said, we didn't like soup. That was all we could afford. Janie Lynn was my best friend, my very best friend. And I did not realize that the only thing they could afford for lunch or for supper was soup. And then I realized every time her mother invited me to stay, I was eating one-fifth of their soup. That's why it's important that our congregation take seriously those in our community, your best friends maybe, who are eating soup and not letting you know that it's not because they just love soup. It might be all that they have. Greetings. The children's sermon that you just saw that I did this past Sunday is a reminder that There are a lot of people in our community right now who only can afford to have soup for lunches and suppers, and many of them would consider themselves blessed even at that. Our congregation here at Bowling Green Presbyterian Church has hosted a community event for over 30 years. We call it the, our oyster stew and soup supper, and it was always the last Saturday in January. Over the last several years, we have raised almost $3,000 to help feed our hungry folks in our community. But unfortunately, this year, because of COVID, we were not able to send checks to Clover Area Assistance Center or God's Kitchen because we were not able to have our oyster stew and soup supper. Our session just this past Monday designated $1,000 of our Compassionate Care Fund to go to Clover Area Assistance Center. But unfortunately, that's a small bit of what we would normally raise. So they've asked me to do this public service announcement that if you would like to help us 
feed our neighbors in need, for you to please send a check to our treasurer. The information will be coming up shortly. Then be sure to mark that check, the soup supper, so that we can, even though we couldn't do it in person, we can still do it with our hearts and our spirits. Have a great day. Bye.